So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another Way of the Hunter video. Now in this video we have three very special trophies that I'm going to be sharing with you. And we're going to be starting off by taking a look at the first one that I encountered just before Aurora Shores actually released. I was hunting on Nez Perce Valley, went to check on a herd of mule deer and ended up spotting this, a one star young melanistic mule deer buck. This was my first time ever seeing a melanistic melanistic mule deer so I was super excited knowing that this was going to be hopefully a pretty good buck seeing as he was actually in a very good herd. He was actually down in diamond drill in a herd that's produced a lot of five stars so I had hopes that he was going to be a really good buck. And you can see there, I saw him grow into a one-star adult, eventually into a two-star adult, then into a two-star mature and eventually then into a three-star mature. Now, it was when he became a three-star mature that I then decided that it was probably time that I took this amazing buck out of this herd. And it was a difficult decision to know whether it was actually the right time to actually take this buck. When I saw him become a two-star adult, I had hopes that he was actually going to get really big. I actually hoped that maybe he would become a five-star because of the genetics in this herd. I knew that they were really good, so I had really high hopes. But when I saw him become a two-star mature, I kind of lost a little bit of hope that he was ever going to get really big because normally I'd be looking for like a three-star mature to maybe age into a five-star. So when I saw this buck actually turn into a three-star mature, I decided to actually take him out. And I wasn't 100% sure if that was the right decision or not at the time. It felt like I was, you know, pretty happy with that choice because I was extremely worried about this buck going off and dying. Ever since Aurora Shores, I've noticed that the aging system seems to be a little bit different I think it's been tweaked and changed a little bit and it seems to go faster now than it used to and there's also been a couple of other things that have just made me notice that there seems to be some differences so I was extremely worried about losing out on this buck that he might go off and die and you know I'd miss out on seeing him age a little bit more or something so I decided as a three star that I was happy with him as a trophy and you know to take him out and I didn't know whether he was going to get any bigger and like I said I was pretty happy with him as a three star but then when I picked him up, 86.36% on the genetics. So there's no doubt that this guy could have become a four star with genetics like that. He could have been a very big four star. He wouldn't have made five as far as I'm aware. I think they need to be like 88 to 89 plus. But, you know, I'm still really happy with this guy as a three star. Yes, he could have become a little bit bigger and, you know, been a really nice size four star. But I was just so extremely cautious about this. Now, I do feel really guilty that I should have let him go for, a, you know, maybe another age cycle or two. But I'm really, really happy with this as a trophy. I think he's absolutely beautiful. I think he's got an absolutely gorgeous set of antlers. And of course, him being a melanistic, he's just absolutely beautiful. Now, not a very high score being a 346 because he is only a three star. But I'm really not fussed about the score. He's an absolutely beautiful trophy. I'm so happy with this. As my first melanistic buck... He's absolutely gorgeous. What a gorgeous looking animal. And like I said, I do feel really guilty. I should have let him go just a little bit longer. But I was extremely cautious with this being the first melanistic that I'd ever seen. And I was just being, you know, really, really cautious about it. I should have let him go. If I end up finding another one, especially in this area, I'll let it go a little bit longer. and Maybe take a little bit more of a risk. But I'm super happy with this as my first ever melanistic mule deer. He is absolutely gorgeous. Now, I say that that was my first ever melanistic mule deer. And technically he was because he was the first one I ever saw. However, whilst I was waiting for him to age... I was driving around and I found this little beauty, a melanistic mule deer doe. Now I managed to call her in and actually take her with the crossbow. And something about the fact that she is melanistic, seeing the fletching stick out on the bolt, it just really stands out with the green and white colours and it just looked really, really awesome seeing that as she was running away. And you can see it even more clearly here when she's on the ground. I think the green and white, the way it's, you know, just so bright against the fact that she is a melanistic, I just think that looked super cool and I did end up taking some screenshots of that. Such a beautiful doe and I was so happy that I actually found her 
because there is a mount in the lodge with a buck and a doe. So this, I knew, would be a perfect fit for when I took the buck. So literally while I was waiting for that melanistic buck to age, I ended up finding this absolutely beautiful doe. She is so beautiful. I was, again, super thrilled to find another melanistic. I was like, this is insane. I didn't expect to find, you know, the first one, that buck. And then I'm hanging around on the map waiting for him to age, hunting other things, looking around for, you know, management herds and stuff. And I end up finding just another beautiful, beautiful animal. Now, of course, there's no trophy because it is just a doe. There's no antlers or anything. But that is an awesome trophy to me. She is just absolutely beautiful. And like I said, I knew exactly where she was going to go in the lodge when I shot her. So that was just so awesome. And then just after I shot my first melanistic buck... I ended up finding this, a one-star young melanistic mule deer buck again. I couldn't believe that I ended up finding another one straight after shooting the last one. This one was in a different location and straight away I knew this one was never going to get very big as he had very wonky antlers even as a one-star young. But I was going to let him grow all the way through to maturity so that he would get as big as possible. And that's exactly what I did. He always stayed pretty small and pretty wonky. And you can see here, he is a one star mature. Now, I did let him go for a couple of age cycles when he was mature. I was a little bit less cautious because I did already have the, the one melanistic from obviously the start of the video. But like I said, I knew this guy was probably never going to get very big, unfortunately, because of having the really wonky antlers. But like I said, I still let him go to see, you know, how big he could actually get. And this is what he ended up as, just a nice one star mature. And I say a nice one star, he's still decent size. But obviously a one star is like the lowest they can be, so that's unfortunate. But what's important is he is a melanistic and he's absolutely gorgeous. And I think it's actually kind of cool to get a wonky melanistic for the lodge. I'm actually pretty happy with that. It gives him some extra character. So yeah, even though he is wonky and that meant that he was never going to get particularly huge, I'm really not fussed by that. I think he's still really, really awesome. And managed to take him with the crossbow as well. So managed to get two of the three melanistics with the crossbow. Would have liked to have got the first melanistic with the crossbow as well, but because because there were so many high fitness bucks in that herd, they would all try and come in when I had tried to call them in the past, so it made that extremely difficult. But taking a look here, and we have a 42.5% genetics on this guy. Like I said, he never was going to get particularly big. I knew that as soon as I saw how wonky he was when he was young. But I'm really not fussed. He's an absolutely gorgeous buck. And I am absolutely thrilled to be able to add him to the trophy lodge as well as the other two melanistics in this video. I got so incredibly lucky to end up with not just the one melanistic that I was on the map to age in the first place, but then to end up finding the melanistic doe whilst I was waiting for the original buck to age. And then as soon as I'd shot the original buck to end up getting a second buck spawning on the map was just absolutely crazy. To get three melanistics sticks is just absolutely nuts and I've been waiting and trying to get a albino whitetail I've been managing my whitetail herds hoping that one would spawn still don't have an albino whitetail but somehow it ended up with three melanistic mule deer is absolutely crazy I didn't know what was happening I just kept finding melanistics and yeah I'm not complaining it's pretty awesome and I'm super super stoked with all of these trophies like I said even though this guy never got very big I think he's pretty cool looking he is you know got some character being wonky but you know he's as big as he was probably gonna get I think maybe he could have hit two star mature maybe but I left him go for a couple of age cycles and he didn't get any bigger than a one star mature so yeah I'm I'm super happy with him even though he's not the biggest and I'm super happy obviously with the doe she's beautiful I'm really happy having her for the multi mount in the lodge and I'm super happy with the first buck that I shot even though I should have left him go just a bit longer to grow a little bit because like I said I've noticed there's been some differences with the age cycles being quicker I really didn't want to lose out on that buck and yeah I'm I'm really happy with him still but I am I do feel slightly guilty like I said that I should have let him go a little bit but if hopefully 
we find more in the future, which I kind of am more hopeful for now, seeing as I've had three spawn already. I'm hopeful that maybe I might get another one spawn in one of my higher genetic areas, because it does seem, apparently, from the in-game information, that melanistic spawn in areas of higher fitness, which is why I found the second one, the second buck spawning to be quite interesting, because obviously he is a, a lower fitness bug, so... That was quite interesting, but then I do have decent genetics in that area normally, so I suppose it's a, it takes a general look at the population, because it says in the encyclopedia that in areas of higher fitness you'll have chance for melanistics to spawn. So hopefully if I keep managing my herds, keep trying to keep their fitness up, hopefully we'll get another melanistic spawn and maybe one day get like a five star. That would be obviously the dream. That's what I was really hoping for, obviously, with the first one, but... He's an incredible buck as a three-star mature, and I am super, super, super happy. I hope that comes across. I'm so incredibly stoked about all three of these trophies. I didn't know what was going on when I kept finding all these melanistics. I was like, this is just absolutely crazy. So, yeah, I'm absolutely thrilled with all of them. It's been awesome to watch them grow and to see them go from, you know, the two one-star young bucks into what they became as matures. I think that that's always really cool to see. I love that about this game. And, yeah, I hope that in the future we can find some more. I absolutely love the rares in Whale Hunter. I think they are absolutely awesome. And I'm super thrilled to have gotten not only my first Melanistic Mule Deer, but a couple of other ones as well. But that is going to be it for this video. So thank you so, so much for watching and for all your support as always. Really hope you have enjoyed it. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next one. Thank you.